2020 Ford Escape SEL. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here for Alum MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find some of the most in-depth video walkarounds to go over the different Ford and Lincoln models specific to the trip. So this just like this one here, uh, we're going to cover all the equipment, standard equipment first, uh, an optional package, and standalone options on this SEL trim. Uh, so it'll be a very thorough video. Down in the description, I'll have timestamps as we go around the vehicle and get to those other optional equipment, including prices on those. So be looking for that down in the description. Feel free to move around in this video, save it to a playlist. If this is the first time watching one of our videos, you like this video, hit the red subscribe button anytime during this video. That way you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel with some great Ford and Lincoln content. Don't forget, forget to hit that notification bell if you want to get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to see the free shipping information at the end of this video. If you're watching this video, you decide, man, I really wish I'd like to work with this dealer, we do free shipping. And all that information will be at the end of the video, so definitely check that out as well uh, if you're wanting to do, some, uh, do that with us here at Law MacArthur. So again, very thorough video, so we're going to cover the standard equipment first on the SEL trim of the 2020 Ford Escape. So I like to cover safety at first. Uh, if you don't, if you watch the SEL and some of the other trim uh, videos, I actually cover all these same safety features. So you can move ahead to the to the front timestamp. It's down in the description if you want to. But for those that haven't watched those videos and want a little bit of information on the safety, let's cover some of these features. First, talk about the airbags. Dual stage front airbag for the driver and front passenger. It deploys a different size airbag. Depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Uh, it does have a sensor underneath those seats that dictates that as well. Side impact airbags for the driver and front passenger as well. So if you have that side collision, it's going to deploy the airbag that comes out from the side of the seat. The driver also does get a knee airbag. It's going to deploy down from that steering column and protect you from any front collision from that steering wheel and such that might be uh, if, as it gets pushed up if you have any front collision there. Also, you're going to have safety canopy airbag. It's deployed down with the sensor. So if it does roll over, it's going to deploy those airbags coming down. Uh, that you're seeing a clip there and it is just an example of a, actually I think it's on an on Explorer or an Expedition, just an example of what the, that one would look like as a deploy down to help for protect from any kind of rollover on the vehicle, putting it on the top as well as on the side there. Also, you're going to get the, uh, for the uh, 911 assist. So if you do have an accident, you're going to get that 911 assist that calls 911 directly into the vehicle, asks if you need any assistance, uh, someone to come to your safety. Also, SOS post crash alert system. So if you are, do have that accident, it's going to honk the horns, flash the lights. If you're off the road, you need help on a very severe accident. Uh, that'll really help out as well there for you. Also, this stuff does have advanced track with roll stability control. Uh, the goal of that is to help keep you on your intended path so the vehicle won't roll over. Uh, does uh, you know the, go into those slick driving roads, or if you're maybe going into curve a little too fast, it's going to use a series of brakes around the vehicle to help you keep you on your intended path that way as well there. A couple of uh, features here in the back that also protect those in the back seat. One of them is that latch system. Most vehicles have this anymore, but I like to cover it. Uh, it's that lower anchors and tethers for children that securely can fasten those seats uh, back into the back of those boosters. There's a couple spots for those. You can permanently put the, those uh, seats, those booster seats that have the, that latch system in there to the back and you can tether it to the back of the seat as well. You can see the hooks back there uh, for all three seating positions uh, there in the back seat. Also you do have the lockable, the child safety locks on these doors, those outside doors, so you can lock those out. Uh, just by turning that little knob as you're seeing in that image uh, and that way uh, kids even when you have the vehicle unlocked aren't going to be able to open those doors uh, on you and escape or anything like that or open them while you're going down the road or anything so some great safety features other a couple other features for any front collision uh, one of them is the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking it comes with the uh, collision warning it comes with the alert system so uh, if you're you know driving along someone stopped in front of you or if you're going, going much slower than you and you're not hitting your brakes, it's going to put a message on the dash and a series of tones that you need to stop. And if you don't, it's going to initiate brake support. So it's going to go ahead and initiate the brakes. And the whole goal here is to slow you down as quickly as possible uh, if they do sense that. So if they're real close to you uh, and that happens, it may not avoid the accident, but it will lessen the severity of the accident. Uh, and if they're further away and it, and it activates that, depending on the distance, it can actually avoid that accident, at least alerts you enough that you can hit the brakes a little bit harder even to uh, go ahead and brake you in time. 
Also will come with post-collision braking. Not many of the Ford vehicles have this, but if you do have an accident and you don't hit the brake at all, and it happens so quick that even the automatic emergency braking can't initiate the brakes, it will initiate that brake on post-collision. So once you have that accident, it's gonna hit the brake to again, hopefully lessen the severity of that accident too. So some great safety features that are on all your escapes. Uh, the SEL trim is not any different than the SE or SE Sport or even the titanium trim, but I wanna make sure I cover those in case you didn't see those other videos. Now, before we get talking to too much of the design on the front, I wanna cover the different engines and drivetrains available for the SEL trim. Now, this is available in either front wheel drive or you can get an optional all wheel drive. And let's talk about those on the front wheel drive. Those, all the front wheel drives will come with the 1.5 liter uh, three cylinder EcoBoost engine. So that is a little bit different than the previous uh, 1.5 liter. I think in my SE video, I forgot to mention that it is a cylinder deactivation uh, with that. And that's nothing you have to do on your own part. It's gonna do it on its own. So we're in that cruise mode or something like that. In that type of situation, it's gonna deactivate one of those cylinders to give you better fuel economy at times. Uh, so that's, that's how that's gonna work. Uh, for performance on that 1.5 liter engine, you're gonna see about 181 horsepower and 190 pound feet of torque. And for fuel economy in that front wheel drive with that engine, you're gonna see about 27 miles per gallon on the, in the city and about 33 miles per gallon on the highway. So pretty good performance. If you want the most fuel efficient, that's probably the drivetrain and engine you're gonna to wanna to go with. Now you can get as optional equipment, the all wheel drive, as I mentioned. Uh, if you do get all wheel drive, you have two different options for engines. You can get the 1.5 liter engine, just like we talked about that three cylinder EcoBoost engine. Uh, same performance on that engine, but for fuel economy, you're gonna see about 26 miles per gallon in the city and about 31 miles per gallon on the highway. So not too bad with that all wheel drive. You only lose a couple miles there on the highway. Uh, or you can go with that uh, 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine. That's a four cylinder EcoBoost engine that delivers 250 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque. So a lot of performance out of that. Uh, that engine is only available with the all wheel drive. So keep that in mind as well. And if you do pair those together, it'll come automatically with the class two tow package. So it's gonna give you a receiver hitch as well as the wiring for you back there too. So that's gonna come standard when you order the all wheel drive with the 2.0 engine. Now let's talk about fuel economy. You're gonna see about 23 miles per gallon in the city and about 31 miles per gallon on the highway. So you don't lose any highway performance, but you will in town see some, uh, some less miles, about four, four, three to four that you lose there uh, that way. So uh, keep that in mind. Both those engines are gonna come with the auto start stop technology, which means when you come up to stoplight, stop sign, you should press the brake, it's gonna shut the vehicle off. Uh, when you let go of the brake, it's gonna turn it right back on. Now, if that's something you don't like, you wanna deactivate it for that trip, you can do that just by pressing that A with the circle around it, just uh, uh, right by the console there, right below, uh, right below the, your shifter. That's, how the, that's where you're gonna be able to do that, uh, as you can see in that clip right there. Right beside that, you're seeing a button for the drive mode. So drive modes are gonna be uh, available on all of both those engines. Uh, drive modes allow you to put in either a normal mode, you have an eco mode, uh, you have an, uh, also you have a sport mode, and you have some other uh, terrain modes there as well, like wet sand mode, uh, I think wet snow it might be is what it's labeled. And you can tell that's that button right there with the little snowflake on it, the flag, and a little leaf a leaf indicating the eco mode and that flag uh, indicating that sport mode. So that's uh, the button you're gonna wanna switch and you'll see that all change there on the dash just like you saw in that image right there. So uh, drive modes are gonna be a part of this as well. You're gonna get the eight speed automatic transmission as well. So that's a new eight speed that they put for uh, the 2020 model year for the Escape. Uh, we're also, we did see that and I think some of the 19s as well for the edge. Uh, so pretty good automatic transmission that you're getting uh, that'll shift real well for you there. So pretty good uh, features there. You will have a front stabilizer bar as well as standard equipment. You will have e-pass, like electronic power assist steering. Uh, and the, kind of the benefit of that is, is uh, having that electronic there should save you a little bit on fuel economy instead of being gas uh, power there. But also it's gonna give you some a great uh, being able to turn the wheel a little bit easier when you're going those slow speeds, driving into parking lots and such. And then on the highway, it will stiffen it up. So that wind won't push it from side to side there. You're gonna see the benefit of that. 
You will have active grill shutters as well, and they're gonna be located in here, so that way they're gonna open up. So when you're driving in town, going a little bit slower, it's gonna allow for airflow in to try to keep that engine cooled as best it can, and then it's gonna shut it off on the highway and letting that air come around. Uh, and because there's net plenty of air coming up underneath to be able to cool that engine off. That's why you're seeing about the same fuel economy on your all wheel drive, no matter which engine you have, is because of those active grill shutters up there. So now let's talk about the design. Once we got through with all the performance there, you're gonna see up here the, the, the headlights. They're an automatic halogen projector headlights. So real nice look. There are some black accent in those, or in the bezel around there. So it looks real sharp on the vehicle. Uh, and automatic feature means it'll come on automatically when it gets dark, turn off when it gets light, when you have the headlights in the auto setting there. Also, you're gonna get auto high beams. That is actually a feature from the Copilot 360, the standard equipment on your all your escapes, uh, or escape SEL, I should say. And auto high beams work a lot like your automatic headlights. It'll turn those high beams on automatically when it's dark, there's no one approaching you, you're not in the city lights, but as soon as you get in those city lights or if uh, someone approaches you, it's gonna turn those high beams off. That is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting screen. So just go into your settings there and you could deactivate that if that's a feature you do not like. Uh, also on here, you can see the grill. It does have a nice high gloss black grill here with the chrome surround around that. Give it a nice a pop there. Body colored bumpers throughout here. Silver front skid plate. This part up here is your skid plate up there and it's gonna be painted silver for you and give you some a little more, more luxury look there. And then you will have the fog lights down here as well. They will be halogen too. So you'll have the fog lights. Uh, I did forget to mention, your, uh, I think I did mention their halogen up here, but you will have also the LED lighting in there as well as the daytime running lights. So the LED signature lighting will be your daytime running light if you choose to have that on uh, those set up. So I love that little light that lights up right underneath those headlights, gives it a nice impact up there. So I think I've covered everything here on the front. Let's go ahead and move around to the side now. There were a couple other features that I did forget I wanted to make sure I covered before moving around to the side that I think kind of have to do with the front of the vehicle. And one of them is, is that you can actually pop this hood real easily. So it's something a little bit different. Uh, it's not a major thing, it's not on the order guide, but it's just something we've noticed and that is the latch here. So you don't have a lever underneath that to worry about. So you just, uh, as you can see in this image right here, you just pull this latch twice. So you pull it once, it pops it, pull again and you can see it releases it just a little bit more. So that way you can just come up here and you can just go ahead and lift that up. And I'm gonna lift it from the side just so you can see that I'm not touching any latch. There's so no yellow latch to try to find or dig under there and hit to be able to lift it up. Just pull that, that knob twice and it's gonna go ahead and lift up for you. Uh, another feature is the headlight switch. Headlight switch is kind of cool with this. When you have it, at, when you shut the vehicle off, no matter if you have the shut headlights off or completely in the on setting, when you shut the vehicle off and turn it back on, it automatically goes to the auto, auto setting. So that way you can make sure those headlights come on. So let's say you had them turned off and you go ahead and shut the vehicle off, you turn it on and maybe it's dusk out or whatever, it'll turn those headlights to the auto setting automatically, which is kind of a cool feature so you don't forget to turn those headlights on. Another thing I want to mention is the front license plate bracket. Uh, in states that require a front license plate bracket, uh, you know, some of those two tag states where you need one tag on the front, it is going to be standard equipment on your escapes. On uh, those states that don't require one like Kansas, it is going to be optional equipment. And we'll talk more about optional equipment and the cost of that and why you may want to get that from the factory when you order your vehicle, then getting it afterwards. Now moving around to the side, you will see the standard wheels and 18 inch machine aluminum wheels. So real nice, 18 inch is a good size for this uh, Escape. So I love that there. It does have the year black uh, molding here on the, on the wheel well, as well as a lower cladding down here. And that just really protects it because if you have an SUV, you want it to be protected. If you go off road, you don't have to worry about those uh, moldings there as well as the side getting rocks kicked up on them and, and chipping in the paint. So that's why you're gonna see that kind of molding and look to it. You will have a body colored mirror cap on the top. You will have the, on the lower part will be the, in that same type of material down here uh, for that uh, molded in black here because that also, in case any rocks might kick up, usually it kicks up on the bottom part of those mirrors and it'll protect those as well. You will have a manual fold, so you can manual fold it in and out. Power heated glass though. So that way you can adjust that from the inside with those power mirrors as well as gonna have the heat feature defrosting those mirrors off. Also comes with the Bliss system, the blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. The way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of that mirror. In fact, it lights up those two cars right there. A little bit newer updated design there. 
Also, when you're backing up, someone's gonna cross your path behind you, it's gonna alert you too. It's gonna put a light in that mirror on the side they're coming from, put the message on the dash telling you if they're coming from the left or the right, and a series of tones and it's not safe to back up. Love the Bliss system. Uh, great way to just to kind of monitor your blind spot that way, uh, real easily with those mirrors. Body color door handles here. Also for the belt line molding, you're gonna see black belt line molding with the chrome around the up, upper part of those windows. So really kind of, this is where we're kind of seeing a little bit different uh, dress up from the SE trim, the SE Sport. The roof rack side rails up here will be the molded in black as well. So you're gonna have that up there, similar to what you're getting, the same material that you're getting on the lower cladding down here as well. Intelligent access, that allows you to leave that key fob in your pocket, you just walk up, put your hands in a door handle, it'll automatically unlock the vehicle. And you can set up in your settings to unlock the driver's door or, or all the doors with your remote as well. So you can, you can use your remote to unlock and lock the vehicle. And when you hit that unlock once, it'll, and the system tells you if you wanna unlock just a driver's door or all the doors. And then if you hit that remote a second time, it would open the rest of the doors unless you have it set up to open all doors on the first time you do that. Also, it's gonna come with remote start. So remote start on the remote, as well as we'll tell you another feature when we get to the inside of how you can remote start the vehicle using an app. Uh, so you're gonna have that nice remote. In fact, let me give you an image of that remote right now uh, with an unlock lock, it has your remote start as well as power lift gate. We'll get into more into that in just a little bit and a panic alarm. And then that key is gonna be located on the bottom of that. So uh, you just pull that right there if you need to. If the battery's dead, that'd be the reason you need the key. So you can go ahead and unlock the vehicle and get inside, go ahead and pop the hood and then go ahead and jump it if you need to. There will be a keypad entry as well on the door uh, that kind of disappears there for you. So I uh, love how that works too because then that way if you want to leave the keys inside or access the vehicle without it, you can program your own special code. It'll have a master code, but then you can program your own code as well. And uh, those codes should be in your owner's manual in the glove box there for you. So also the last thing I want to talk about is the Easy Fuel Kappa's filler door. So you just uh, no cap to worry about leaving losing getting your hands dirty or anything it does have a, a two-door system in there so you don't have to worry about people you know trying to get into your gas or your gas tank or anything because it has to have the exact size nozzle that you get the fuel uh, the fuel pumps um, you a lot of people don't realize this but what you get for those tanks when you're needing to refill your fuel or you use for your lawnmowers that's not the right size it's not the accurate size so you'll need a funnel if you need to do that uh, which is included and we'll show you where that's located in the back of the vehicle too and actually one more thing and that's the privacy glass privacy glass as a dark tinted glass here on these uh, back windows as well as the back glass uh, just keeps it a little bit cooler for those in the back seat but looks nice on the vehicle as well so moving to the back back here, you're going to see a body colored rear spoiler up here. Uh, you will see some high gloss black pieces on the side over there. Uh, center home mounted stoplight is right on the back of that rear spoiler back here. Rear defrost with rear wiper back here. Uh, you will get LED uh, tail lights back here, uh, but you're going to have halogen for those backup lights and your turn signals back here. Uh, you will have the black bumpers across here. It does have the reverse sensing in those, so you're going to gain that when you go up to SEL. Also, rear view camera, the standard equipment on every vehicle, part of the Copilot 360. So as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see behind you, and you're going to get alert if you get too close to anything. Uh, painted uh, silver skid plate back here, like the front one that we did see over there. Dual exhaust as well. And don't forget your all-wheel drive with a 2.0 engine will have the class two receiver hitch with the four pin uh, wiring back there as well on these. So a real nice look here to the back of it. Now this does have your power lift gate and it does have the hands-free foot activated as well. So just give it a kick right here and it's gonna go ahead and open up. And I actually did uh, struggle with this just a little bit um, earlier. I think you might have to have it unlocked. So let's unlock it. There we go. Uh, so maybe you'll have to have that unlocked. Uh, don't kick it too far under there. I noticed that earlier. Uh, that doesn't activate it. So just a, a short kick just right on the front of the bumper and it'll open as well as it, it'll close. Now you can adjust this uh, as well. So up and down. So if you happen to be a little shorter, want to hit this little button, you can bring this down, press and hold that button. It'll beep for you. And that's where it's gonna, the next time it opens, it'll stop right there. Uh, so you can adjust that wherever you want it to stop there. Uh, in the back back here, actually we actually leave the floor mats back here and this is how it reminds me to, to make sure I cover this. You're going to have floor mats in the footwells in the front seat as well as the footwells in those two outside seats too. Uh, so four floor mats for the vehicle. Here in the back you will have a uh, uh, carpet on the, uh, the floor and as well as those seat backs back there and those seat backs can lay down 
and they'll slide forward. So if you need a little extra cargo room, uh, we're going to talk about interior in just a little bit, but you have more interior room than we've had in the Escape uh, so far. But if you, uh, what's great about that is you, you don't need all that extra leg room there in the second row. You can slide those feet, those seats forward, and you're going to get more cargo room in the vehicle too. So having an adjustable seat for both the 60 as well as the 40% side over there just gives you more cargo flexibility there. Also underneath here, there's a couple tie downs right here if you need uh, those. Also in here you can lift that up and you're going to have a nice cargo organizer in here so you can put some of the small, smaller items in there that maybe you don't want rolling around in the vehicle. Put those in there, you'll see the funnels in there as well. You're going to also see an alloy spare tire in here. So uh, having that, that nice spare tire, it's not a full size spare, so it's not an, an 18 inch uh, in this case. Uh, it is a 17 inch, but you will have a nice alloy wheel instead of a steel wheel as a spare tire, which uh, a lot of people may uh, find of, of some great value in the vehicle too. And a couple different uh, positions for this, uh, this uh, position here. You can take this out and it adjusts to two different levels. So you can put it in the bottom and lay it in there, giving you kind of that flat load level and that there's another thing that it kind of can sit on top of and when you lay those seats down if you sit it on top of those that, that, little, that spot right there then it kind of lifts that cargo area up a little bit it's a little slant right here but then it'll, it'll allow you to lift it up and over those seats so i'll give you a clip so you can see what that's going to look like with those seats laying down and giving you that now i will tell you if you slide the seats forward and then lay them down there is a little gap between the cargo uh, floor there and those seats. So if you have things rolled around in there, if you have something longer that you just need a little extra room, that's gonna be just fine. But if you have things that might roll around and roll through there, just keep that in mind in the vehicle too. So uh, I love the functionality on the new uh, 2020 Escape. Lots of uh, cargo room and lots of leg room for the second row. Let's go ahead and, and head inside so you can kind of see some of that as well. Now moving to the interior, there are two different color interiors that are available for you. You have your ebony interior and you have your sandstone interior. So this vehicle is your ebony, so you, I'll give you a clip across the dash so you can see what it looks like. Uh, you're going to see some silver accents on the doors as well as across the dash. High gloss accents around your audio controls as well as on the steering wheel itself. And then black on the top part as well as the lower part and the doors. The carpet's going to be black, your seats will be black, and then the, up, the headliner will actually be that more that sandstone color. So if you do go with sandstone, uh, some of the, the dash part and the lower, some of the door accents will be that sandstone color along with your seats. Uh, and then the headliners will be the sandstone as well. So two different color uh, options for you, four colors. For your seats, they are the ActiveX seats here. Uh, a lot of people ask me, what is that really leather? Uh, Ford's calling it a partial leather uh, that's going to be able to handle any more wear and tear on it than maybe the cloth seats would be, but they're not a, a full genuine leather, a full leather seat. So uh, I have a vehicle that has the ActiveX, love them. They wipe up a lot easier than maybe even a, pure, a full leather a seat would. So real nice leather seat material. I think uh, the reason they call it partial leather is I think the back part and some of the other parts of it may not be leather, but your surfaces should be leather. So real nice in how those feel. Heated seats for the driver and front passenger up here. And the driver is going to get a 10-way power adjustment. So it a power lumbar, power recline and power seat cushion. Not only goes forward and back, but you can raise it up and down too. The passenger seat will be a manual adjustment uh, with a lever on the front and a lever on the side for your recline there. Back seat, seats three back there with a 60-40 split bench seat. Those seats can slide forward and back, so you can adjust those. I uh, showed you what it looked like from the back, but now you can see what it looks like in the front. You can see how much leg room is back there. I'm about, oh, 5'10". I think my legs are fairly decent in, in length here, and you can see how much room I have behind my seat here for that second row, so I love how that works and adjust it. The backrest, uh, uh, there's an armrest that comes out of the middle backrest as well, so if you want to lay that down, you can to give you an image of that as well as there's a power point behind this console and two vents and i forgot to mention too there's also a power point in the rear cargo area so i'll give you a clip of that as well uh, where that's located in the back so there are actually three power points throughout the vehicle cargo I'm back here and there'll be one up here we're going to cover in just a little bit here on the door power windows locks mirror switches including auto one touch for all four of the windows so you just press it hard and you know, go ahead and roll those windows down automatically you don't have to hold it and then also you're going to have driver memory for three different drivers and that'll memorize the seat position for the driver's seat as well as the mirror positions for you so you don't have to adjust those for up to th three different drivers there also it does have a leather wrap heated steering wheel so there's going to be heated feature along with the heated seats here you have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel so you just pull this adjustment over here and it'll go up and down forward and back so it is a manual adjustment not a power adjustment there for you 
And on the steering wheel, you have several controls. On the left side over here on the bottom, behind, below that chrome accent, you're going to have your audio controls where you can uh, mute it and you can raise and lower the audio uh, volume there. Above that is where you're going to see your cruise control. So we'll have your cruise control as standard equipment. On the right side, below that chrome accent, you're going to see where you can make and receive phone calls. So the lower parts are where you can be able to make and receive phone calls, uh, change the volume, that kind of stuff. Up above on the right side is where you can control. Uh, those are the buttons to control the 4.2 inch productivity screen here. We did see a clip of that with the drive modes earlier, but you can also see some where well, you can adjust uh, some other different controls, driver assist uh, features, your display, fuel economy, that kind of thing, using those buttons right there. Push button uh, start is going to be just to the left of your vents over here, to the right of your, col your column. Uh, so you can just easily press that right there to start the vehicle. Don't forget to press the brake. For your climate control, it is a, a single zone, but it's an automatic uh, temperature control or climate control. Uh, real easy to be able to use. Uh, the bottom part of that chrome button is where you're going to see your heated seats as well as the heated steering wheel controls right there. Uh, so really, uh, real nice climate control for you. It does for your audio uh, uh, controls, you have a six speaker AM FM stereo with Sirius XM satellite radio. So pretty good audio controls. We'll have the Sync 3 system with the eight inch touchscreen up here where you control your phone and your uh, audio controls. Um, may even con control your climate controls as well through there. So, and that's where you're gonna see your backup camera coming to view as well in the eight inch touchscreen right there. Up here on the mirror, you do have a day night mirror. So you just, if those cars come, come up behind you with those bright lights, you can flip that down and it'll kind of uh, auto dim or it'll dim it for you right there. Overhead console is going to include a sunglass bin as well as your light controls right there. So you can put the sunglasses up there. For the climate, for the, your center console here, up here in this media hub, there's plenty of room to put a phone in there and whatever else you might want to put up in there. You do have a USB port in there, and that USB port is going to uh, be real handy if you want to use the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So anytime on the Ford vehicles you see that it has a Sync 3, it'll have the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and you would just plug your phone in to be able to access all that through that screen if you want that type of interface uh, system. A lot of people are liking that. You can do that as well. You will have the other PowerPoint, the third one, is going to be located down here in that media hub as well right there. Uh, also, throughout here, you'll see your cup holders to the left of that. You're going to see your uh, uh, rotary dial shifter as well as a couple of buttons there. One of that P button is your park brake. So you can uh, go ahead and, and press that. The button right behind that with the little hand on it, that is an auto hold button. So if you press your brake and you've been at a stoplight for a while, you can press the auto hold button and it will hold the brake for you and you can take your foot off the brake. Also comes in handy if you happen to be parked on a, or stopped at a hill, uh, so that way the vehicle doesn't drift back, you can press that button to hold the brake as well. Those switches back behind there, we've actually talked about the auto start stop, uh, where you can deactivate that is right there to the right with the A with the circle around it. And then the other button with the flag and the snowflake and the leaf, that is your drive mode buttons that we uh, talked about earlier as well. And then uh, back behind that, people have asked what that slot is for. Uh, that actually is just a cover uh, to go over those switches because if you go up, there's some other features that you can get and we would need those buttons for that. And that's where those buttons would be normally be positioned. In the SEL trim, those are not available. Uh, so you'll, those buttons will go ahead and be covered up with this little uh, cover right there. Uh, I, oh, by the way, I do love the texture on this uh, console here. It is kind of aligned and just has a nice texture to it as well. Uh, I don't know if I can get a good clip of that, the, uh, how that looks, uh, but it feels real nice on uh, the vehicle as well. Padded armrest here that also doubles with the console cover. So you can open that up. You can get some room in there. There is a USB Type-C in there. And uh, a lot of people ask, what's well, a USB Type-C? If you've gotten a newer Android phone recently, more than likely you have a USB Type-C on both ends of that cord and one of them actually plugs into your adapter that goes in the wall. If you took that out and put it in there, your phone's gonna charge much faster than it will with any other cord. So USB Type-C is the way a lot of people are going. In fact, they've seen some laptops now that come with USB Type-C because they do charge devices so much faster than a USB will. So uh, keep that in mind, you do have slots for those cords to come through as well right there. Uh, and then the last thing I wanna talk about is the Ford Pass Connect. Ford Pass Connect, is a feature that's going to be standard equipment for you where you can use the uh, download the free app and you can connect your vehicle to the app using that that uh, that app so four pass connect allows you to be able to remote start your vehicle from anywhere 
schedule remote start times even. You can uh, unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere and even locate your vehicle. So if you're in that game, you forgot where you parked, you can pull your app out and it can show you where your vehicle is located at that present time. Also does have service information in there where you can see your uh, tire pressure, you can see your fuel, uh, where it's setting. If you need oil changes and all that will be through that app as well. And then also your loyalty rewards points. So every time you purchase a vehicle, get a vehicle service at a Ford dealer, you're gaining rewards points or loyalty points that you that you can see within that app too. And that's where you'd go into to be able to get those. So especially when you purchase a vehicle, if you're looking to get one, you're going to get enough rewards points to get two free oil changes in your vehicle. So you're going to be covered for a while on that aspect of it. So I love the Ford Pass Connect. Make sure you uh, go ahead and, and register your vehicle and, and uh, the embedded modem and everything so you can get all those rewards points and all those benefits by using that Ford Pass app, which will be free for the entire time you own the vehicle, not like some manufacturers where it's only free for a year and you have to pay for a membership for that, you will not have to do that with your Ford vehicle. There are so many standard equipment uh, on this vehicle that I did forget one thing that's part of the Copilot 360, and that is the lane keeping system. Lane keeping system is standard equipment on the SEL trim, uh, and lane keeping system includes three great features within it. One of them is a driver alert feature that will go ahead and alert you and let you know when you're taking your hands off the steering wheel. Uh, so that's something you could activate and deactivate if you want to, act, uh, to uh, use that feature of that lane keeping system. But also there's two other features within it and that's your lane keeping aid system and your, assist, uh, your lane keeping aid and your alert system. Now alert system, what it's going to do is if you leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. So that's a great benefit to have. The aid system will help actually keep you within your lane. So it's actually going to, if you get to those lines, it's going to use torque vectoring to bring you back in. Now it does have to be able to see those lines and you also have to have this feature activated. And how you would activate and deactivate it is on the left uh, knob over there, the left lever, uh, where you'd normally uh, adjust your uh, lights and such, your brights. Uh, you just flip that button on the end of it and that will activate and deactivate your lane keeping system. So great feature. Again, that is standard equipment on the SEL trim. Now this is the point of the video where we used to cover some different packages that are available on each trim. For the SEL, there's one package that is available and that's the Copilot 360 Assist. Now we talked about Copilot 360 having uh, some great features like the auto high beams, the lane keeping system. Also does have the rear view camera, pre-collision assist. All those are part of that package. Uh, but with the Copilot 360 Assist, Plus, you're going to get two other features, and one of them is your adaptive cruise control with stop and go. And what's great about that is you can have that, this one does have that feature actually, with on that cruise control, you can see those little lines over there with the car. That's uh, where you can adjust how soon you're going to be alerted and being slowed down. So if you come up behind somebody with that cruise set and you, uh, it, it's going to slow you down to go their speed until it's safe to resume, or you pass them and it's safe to resume, and then it'll speed back up to your uh, preset uh, uh, cruise control speed there for you. So that's a great feature to have and again that is something that can be that you would activate or deactivate. You can change it from regular cruise control to the adaptive cruise control in your touch screen over there under the driver assist features that I showed you with the lane keeping system. So that's great and how that works. Also you're going to get the voice activated navigation system. Also a feature, I don't know if you did see on this earlier, but there's a navigation button on that touch screen. So we'll have the on-screen navigation system and it'll come with a serious XM traffic and travel link that goes along with that. So a uh, great feature, uh, voice activated navigation as well as the, the adaptive cruise control part of that uh, Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. So now we're going to talk about some factory accessories that you can get. Uh, a lot of these, if you order it from the dealer uh, sometime or order it from the factory, some of those are going to be put on the vehicle before it's shipped. Uh, rest will be installed by the dealership when it gets there. And uh, some of these, a lot of these, can be ordered through your parts department after you get your vehicle as well. So, uh, so first one to talk about is the locking lug nuts. So if you do, especially if you get those 19 inch wheels, you can get the locking lug nuts, replaces one of the lug nuts on each wheels with a locking one that comes with a special wrench that you can keep inside to be able to, you know, uh, be able to access those and still get those wheels off when you have a, a flat tire. So locking lug nuts is an option for you. Mud flaps, call them splash guards as well. They can go on the vehicle, especially live on those dirt roads. You get, uh, go off road a lot. Mud flaps might be something you might want to add to the vehicle and help keep some of that mud and those rocks up from on the side of the vehicle uh, also helps out with that too. 
Also, you can get the crossbars. We talked about a little bit earlier, but you can get the cross rails that go across there. They're going to be black, and those can be put on the vehicle. They're not available with the Panoramic Vista roof, uh, but you could if you wanted to get them afterwards. I don't think the reason they don't want you to have those on there is it's too far down that that moon roof comes up and slides back, so it would actually hit that. So uh, something to keep in mind if you get those cross rails on the vehicle. And again, they won't let you order those together. Also floor liners. So you have the carpeted mats, but if you want the floor liners, those all weather liners, you can get that in the vehicle. I think they're about $160. They go on the footwells in the front as well as the footwells in the back. And uh, that can be added to the vehicle. You'd still get the carpeted mats, but they'll also throw in those all weather ones in a, in a package that they usually throw in the back of the cargo area back there. Also speaking of that, there's a couple features in the back cargo area. One of them is a cargo mat that you can get. Um, not sure on the material on that, and it, hopefully Ford has a clip on that, but you can get a cargo mat. It may be carpeted. Uh, sometimes they're carpeted on one side, all weather on the other. Uh, so you can get a carpeted mat to protect the cargo area back there, keep it uh, clean a little bit better. And you have an easy access cargo shade. So I think that is new for this year, but that shade can go back there. And it's not like a retractable cover. It's actually shade that actually uh, kind of wraps and it clips on back there so that you can put that back there so people can't see the different belongings you have in the back. So those are your accessories for the SEL trim on the 2020 Ford Escape. So that's all your standard equipment as well as optional equipment, accessories that are available for the SEL trim. And don't forget the warranty is a three-year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with a five-year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty and roadside assistance. So that roadside assistance will come in handy. So if you get a flat tire, run out of gas, uh, have some engine problems, dead battery, you can call that, call that uh, for you, the Ford uh, assistance, and they'll come to your safety and help you out. And if you need to be towed, they'll tow you to the nearest Ford dealer. So that's uh, a benefit a lot of people don't take advantage of with their uh, warranty and their new vehicle. Also, you can go to any Ford website and you can pull up their window stickers. Uh, it's a digital window sticker on any Ford uh, website anymore. I love how that works. And the reason I encourage you to do that is because these vehicles can have several different options and packages. You might see an SEL that can start at a certain price range like 32 and going up to 36 if it's all-wheel drive with the 2.0 and it has a Copilot 360 assist package. There can be a variance there, so they may not be the same vehicle because uh, one could have quite a bit more equipment. So definitely pull up those window stickers so you can see what is equipped on those vehicles with those different options down there on the lower part of that window sticker there. So you can see that easily on any Ford dealer website. You can go to our website, lawmacarthur.com, and only see the window stickers. You can also see a, a VR experience on every single one of our vehicles, an outside as well as an inside perspective on each vehicle, new and used, as well as you can see a, a good amount of Photographs as well. We do some high quality uh, photographs on top of the, uh, the spins is what we call it because we want to have those good uh, photos for you that you can see uh, on each vehicle because we do add sometimes accessories and window tint to vehicles so that way you get an idea of what that vehicle looks like uh, before it went to our lot. So definitely check that out. You can also see our great internet price there too, uh, which includes rebates from our zip code. So a lot of our escapes, we do uh, price really competitively, invoice minus rebate a lot of times. Uh, and so you still can get benefit of those. Now, I mentioned the free shipping earlier. Uh, so if you live outside of our market area, you really liked this video, uh, you liked maybe some of the information I gave you, uh, we are a dealership that knows the products really well. We know how to order these. We know how people want them ordered. And so a lot of times you can find vehicles on our lot and we can have it shipped right to your door. So if you want to make sure you get a vehicle ordered uh, the way you want it to from a dealership that knows our product, Law MacArthur 4 is a place to go. You can get free shipping as well. The only thing we ask is that you finance a vehicle with us. Most people do finance their vehicles, so that's not a big deal. And the reason we do that is because the uh, lenders will give us a little kickback, uh, a bonus there for the financing deal, and that will pay for the shipping from us to you. And we do put a cap on that about $1,000 uh, because of that, but because we're in Salina, Kansas, we're able to go to about every coast uh, in the U.S. for a pretty close to $1,000, especially on the escapes. So take advantage of that if you want to make sure you get the vehicle exactly the way you want it to from a dealership knows your products give us a call or send us a text message. We'll have those numbers listed on the screen as well as down in the description if you wanna do that. Uh, so de definitely reach out to us and we can uh, deliver this vehicle right to your door. Uh, a lot of people are doing that right now uh, with these videos because they are so informative. So uh, I definitely take advantage of that. And I hope you did watch and like this video. If you did like this video, you might like some of our other videos. So hit that red subscribe button down below. Then we can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell and you also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. If you did like this video, go ahead and smash the like button 
and put your comments down below. Love getting the feedback. I can make these videos better and better. I know uh, we've been doing these for about three year, three or four years now, and these are so much better than they were in the past from your guys' feedback. So l let me get that feedback. If I miss something as well, I want to know that, and I'll highlight your comment, pin it to the top as well, because I want to make sure everybody else knows that information too. So also, don't forget to check out the description. We have the timestamps for this vi vehicle or the, the video throughout, and the prices for all the equipment we mentioned is down in the description as well as links to other uh, videos for the 2020 Ford Escape. So uh, definitely check that out. We're working our way through the Escape. I think, we all, I think we've done every trim so far. Uh, maybe not have done a titanium hybrid. Not sure if I'm going to do that one because the equipment is the same as a as the gas engine. Uh, so, but we've done all the other in that lineup. So check those videos out if you want to see those as well. So again, hopefully you like this. Don't forget you can find us on social media as well. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook on Twitter and on Instagram. So find us on those. You can see what's going on at the dealership. Also, any specials we have going on are going to be posted there on our social media site. So, and any, any breaking news as well, uh, any news about Ford and Lincoln vehicles, we're going to, and anything performance related, a Mustang or any of those vehicles, uh, we're going to post those as well and, and get those news out to our people on social media sites. So hope you really enjoyed this video again. And until the next one, we'll see you later.